Two weeks ago we discovered through some uh, paddlers who have nothing better than to do than to, to uh, dive through the, uh, the detail of information available on the internet, came across some information that indicated that the federal government was considering rewriting the Navigable Waters Protection Act. The act that was enacted in 1882, um, enacted when Sir John A. Macdonald was Prime Minister of this country, it enshrines the public right of navigation into law and says to anyone who's going to interfere with navigation, if you're going to do that, if you're going to do something that interferes with the public right of navigation, you've got to consider that navigation, you've got to consider the impacts, and you have to get a permit. That's what the law says today. The federal government, when we looked at the detail of what they're doing, since February of this year, uh, there's a committee of parliament has been hearing from delegations from the development side. These are people who deal, build dams, bridges, causeways. They want to build things on rivers. And all of those peoples are telling the, the parliamentary committee that they want to take your right to navigate rivers away. There is no other way of looking at it. Um, they're, they're suggesting in all of these presentations, if you read the, the, they are available online, if you read them, they're talking about things like, if a, if a river is navigated for recreation, it will no longer be considered a navigable waterway in Canada. If a river isn't navigable continuously for three months a year, it's no longer a navigable waterway in Canada. If a river um, has too many natural obstructions on it, natural obstructions, rapids, perhaps a rock in the middle, um, a, a sl small waterfall, that, <laughs> that that river, that waterway will no longer be considered a navigable waterway in Canada. If uh, this is a good one, one of the suggestions was. Um, in order to be considered a navigable waterway, a river, a, a body of water has to be capable of being navigated in a vessel with at least a one meter draft. Is anybody out here paddling a vessel with a one meter draft? I don't think so. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, you know, this is really serious, um, and I don't know how to drive that point, point home. What it, it, these people want to take thousands of rivers and creeks and streams off the list of navigable waterways in Canada. That means if somebody wants to put a dam in, somebody wants to put a bridge across it, somebody wants to put a weir in, uh, divert water for a power station, they don't have to talk to you. Even if you've been on that river for 40 years navigating like we have on the Kippewa, they don't have to talk to you. They don't have to ask you what the impacts are on your activity. They don't have to get a permit from the Minister of Transport. That's what they want to put in place. And that will erase a long-standing right of public navigation in Canada and we can't let it happen.